Hello, my name is Arun Gupta and I work for Oracle. In this multi-part screencast series, I've been showing you how Oracle Enterprise Pack for Eclipse provides extensive tooling around Java EE6 and Glassfish. In the first part, we showed how OEPE allows you to download, install, and configure Glassfish very easily. Then we created a simple Java EE6 application using JSP, serverless, and Enterprise Java Beans. Third part showed you how you can retrieve some values from a database using Java Persistence API 2 and display them in a servlet. This part is going to show how faceless um, that are part of now Java Server Faces 2 allows you to create you know, simple pages and template based um, pages as well. So let's go to our IDE. Now in my IDE, what the application that I want to build is you know, take input on one page and display it on another page. The input will be transferred using a JSF managed bean, and both the input and the output page are going to be using a template. So the first thing we're going to do is create our managed bean. So for that, we create a simple POJO class. Let's say this goes in the package beans, and we call it as user bean, and we click on finish. This is a very simple bean. It has a private string name, private string password, just two attributes, and I'm going to generate the getters and setters. And those are our getters and setters. And now I'm going to add um, manage bean annotation and request scope annotations. Let's resolve the import. Now the manage bean annotation I'm going to pick from Java X faces bean, this allows the faces a uh, servlet to be automatically registered without explicitly registering in the um, web.xml. And then I'm going to point to the request scoped annotation. So there goes my managed bean. Okay. Um, next thing I'm going to do is create a folder in webinf directory as I don't want to expose my templates to the real world. So create a folder, call it templates. And in the templates, let's create a template page and call it template. Click on next and this is going to be my new facelet template. Now these are XCHTML templates made available by Eclipse IDE. So we're going to create a simple uh, faces template and as you can see this has a header, a content and a footer. So click on finish here and our page gets generated here. So there's a visual preview of the page and there is a co code content as well. So um, here what we can do is add our uh, header in, in the header um, template and then content we'll add later and then we're going to define a footer as well. Call it as powered by glassfish and OEPE. Save the page here. Now we're ready to create our input and output pages. So go back on the project, right click new XHTML page, call it input, click on next. And now this time is going to be a facelet composition page. Click on finish here. The facelet composition page is very similar header, content, and footer, but it's going to inherit from a template. So we specify the directory location and save the page over here. So if I go back to my browser output and I say faces input.xhtml, my um, all my um, standard values that are a part of the page are being displayed. So basically add your header here, content here and footer here. Now see the magic of templating language. If I remove my header and save the page and I go back to my browser, I refresh it well, seems like the app has not been deployed yet. Let's try one more time. There you go. So whatever content are not defined or whatever templates are not defined in the child page, they are then inherited from the parent page. Similarly, if I remove my footer here and I save the page here, go back to my browser output, refresh it. Well, it's synchronized. So there you go. Now it's powered by Glassfish and OEPE. So um, in my input.xhtml page, let me add some code that will allow you, that will allow us to uh, take input of a username and a password. And for that, I'm going to borrow some code. So 
So let's take this code and paste it here. It's basically an HTML form or JSF form with a panel grid, three columns, um, say shows a name uh, display, then um, takes a text box that is bound to our bean and then uh, shows a place where you can add some message as well in case the username is not specified. Similarly for password and then there's a submit button. Now see the submit button actually, which is a command button, has an action by the name show. So what that means is anytime this command button is clicked, um, faces runtime is going to look for a view by the name show.xhtml. So what we can do is we can right click here and we can say new and we can create a new xhtml page, call it as show, click on next, make this as a facelet composition page as well and click on finish. And again, you know, let's inherit it from the template. Remove the headers and footers. We want the standard header and footer here. And save it here. Similarly, save our input.xhtml. Now, let's look at the input.xhtml first. So, if I refresh this page one more time, so you see name and password. Now, if I click on submit, my show.xhtml button would be saved. But first of all, I need to populate some values in show.xhtml content field. So select it here. And let me borrow some code from um, my notebook again. And here I copy the code. Back in my IDE, paste it here. This is again a panel grid, you know, it's a simple one. It just displays name um, and the name bound from the backing bean. Similarly, password from the backing bean. So I save the page here, go back to my browser output, refresh the page, I enter the uh, value as name. Um, one thing I would like to check in my user bean is, here you go, so this is my managed bean. Now um, if I have to show you some code completion here, you can see that the code completion works very well within um, your annotations as well. Now uh, what I want to do is give it a specific uh, name to the bean because that's the code that I'm using in my um, value expressions as well. So let's go back to our browser, refresh the page again, give it the name Arun, and let's say the password is Glassfish, and then you hit on Submit, and voila, you have your name and password being displayed in clear text. Now clear text is not a good idea, but you get the point though. So uh, let's look back at input.xhtml for one more time. Command button, action show, automatically goes to show.xhtml. So these are default navigation rules um, that are now supported by JSF 2.0. So pretty cool. We created a simple JSF 2 using facelets template-based application. And um, let me leave you with some references now. You can download Glassfish from glassfish.org. You can download Oracle Enterprise Pack for Eclipse from this um, OTN URL. You can always ask any questions around Glassfish and um, sister projects at Glassfish Forum. And of course, follow us at, at Glassfish, which is our Twitter handle. Thank you.